Cameron for Tweaktown, back again for another video. I'm here with uh, Chris Lee from ASRock, and he's going to introduce us to some of the upcoming uh, Intel P67 motherboards. Uh, this is Chris from ASRock Marketing. Today I'm going to showcase you guys um, you know, the new P67 series and H67 series motherboards from ASRock. Now you can see that we're you know, showing you the P67 Xtreme 6. This one is the most high-end, most you know, enthusiastic boards. You can see this one from the gift box design is really cool. It can show us all features here inside the box. And uh, now let's take a look inside the P67 Extreme 6. So you get a bit of an unboxing here. Yeah. The, uh, this is the this is your most high end P sixty seven. Exactly, mobile. this one is really cool. You can see that from the appearance design, looks you know really exciting with a huge heat P pipe here. We call that P sixty seven P sixty seven Extreme Six. You can see we highlight some features like DG power. The P sixty seven Extreme Six is equipped with um, you know the digital PWM design so it can provide the CPU V core voltage more efficiently and smoothly. It provides most proper stable V core for the you know P67 Extreme 6. And uh, also it's a V16 CPU power phase design. So you can see from here, this one is really good. And you can also find some nice capacitors here. We call that the premium gold caps. Okay, these caps are you know 100% Japan made and capacitors and those are you know sleek and high glossy design so it looks really you know pretty pretty fancy. Provide a really stable performance. Exactly, yeah. For the P67 Extreme 6, the most highlight feature actually it is equipped with all Ezra P67 and H67 series memories. We call that X fast USB technology. Okay? It's not a hardware implement technology, but also a software implement. Because you can see on SROC P67 Extreme 6, it is equipped with an Etron USB 3 chipset, and we also equipped with XFast USB software here. And when user install the you know the USB devices into the USB ports, and this kind of UI will pop up, and you can just select the Turbo One, and the performance will boost up. Okay, this one is actually not only you know um, implemented on USB 3 ports, but also on USB 2 ports. So users can also enjoy this kind of X, X, -Rock, X fast USB technology on all series as well. Right, Chris, ports. and how many how many USB 3 ports does this motherboard have? Okay, for the Extreme 6, uh, we do have uh, four USB 3 ports in the back and two in the front panel. Okay. And the, actually, the model name Xtreme 6 stands for the 6 USB 3 and also 6 SAR 3. So for the Intel P67 chipset, provides you know two SAR 3 ports, and we added another two Marvel SAR 3 IC, so it totally supports six SAR 3 ports. Okay, and with the uh, XFast technology, what type of percentage performance increase can okay. we see? Maybe I can show the, the, the performance graph later, because it's actually for the USB 3 performance, it can boost up almost 100% faster. We were just uh, talking about ASRock uh, XFast USB technology and uh, in the package here we can see some of the performance uh, numbers uh, using Crystal Disk Mark 3.0. Um, you can see around uh, almost a 37% increase in performance there. Um, and then let's move over here. Atto um, Disk Benchmark, which is a really popular benchmark, for testing SSDs and such, you can see it's you know, basically almost 100% uh, increase in performance. Now, Chris hasn't uh, told us how, how this technology works, but uh, uh, we can see the numbers here. So we'll uh, we'll have to give this a test once we get the uh, once we get this motherboard in to our labs for review at Tweaktown. Okay, let's check out the accessory of the PC7 Extreme 6 here. Okay, it's a um, solder cable. Uh, we have um, totally one package contains two SAR3 ca cables, so there are totally six SAR3 cables here. And the, the I/O panel is the ID ca uh, floppy cable here, and uh, also the it's a um, second generation the USB three 
from USB 3 panel. It provides another, like this one, it's a rack. It's actually a 2.5 inch SSD and hard drive rack. So users can just put their, you know, the 2.5 inches SSD here. And so it's got two purposes. It's not, exactly, it's not, exactly. just, not just front panel uh, exactly, USB exactly. 3, it but you can also mount uh, your SSD. Yes. Or other 2.5 inch drive in there. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also one consideration idea from SROC, yeah. Okay, here. And then just a few extra cables left in the package. Yeah. It's an SOI bridge here. Okay, so this, uh, this board comes with uh, NVIDIA SLI support. Yeah. Uh, oops. This SOI bridge here. Okay. And there are another two, you know, solar power cable here. Yep. And the, the driver CD. And this one is a USB 3 back back bracket. This one is designed for the, you know, some some cases may not have the, you know, um, access for the front port USB 3. Exactly. Yeah. And then users can just uninstall this kind of uh, USB 3 ports and connect into the back bracket. And okay. then there will be six USB 3 ports in the back. Okay. Yep. Okay, except the above features from PC7 Extreme 6. Okay, you can see that on the board it provides three PCIe 2.0 slots, so it can support the Crossfire and SLI. Okay, here, 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 here. So okay. the, the, one of the big things with P67 is that it is a PCI Express 2.0 uh, controller. It's not 1.0, so it's actually double the amount of bandwidth um, per slot. Yep, yep, exactly, yep. And um, also the dual lane teaming function, dual lane here, it can support the teaming function to combine, you know, the two lanes bandwidth into one. So that means for one port, it can support up to two gigabit per second. Okay, except the hardware features on this one, PC7 Extreme 6, let's talk about the software features, including the BIOS. Okay, you can see that the best part for SROC P67 and H67 series main boards, we jump to another generation. We call that UEFI. Okay, as you can see, that UEFI is actually a graphical interface here. Okay, not only the you know like the traditional BIOS, that kind of boring part. This one looks more you know vivid and graphical. And, and Chris, I see you've got a mouse there, so we can also use the mouse to ah, navigate. exactly. That's also the main feature of the UEFI. The mouse is enabled in the BIOS, so users can just use just like on the Windows to use the mouse to control it control the cursor and then choose what they want, okay? And there's another important feature of UEFI, that is, with the UEFI, you guys can enjoy the bootable hard drive size over than two terabyte. That is really good, because you know that now on the market, three terabyte uh, hard drive is, is available now, so UEFI is a necessary part. And there's another software I want to highlight here, is the SROC AXTU, the SROC Extreme Tuning Utility. Like, he, like this one, the AXCU is actually a, you know, the all-in-one software, you know, it includes all AirStruck, you know, famous features like the Howie Monitor, fan controls, also overclocking, also the OC DNA can, you know, the share the OC profile with others, and also the IES is an, you know, energy saver program. So it's actually an all-in-one software, so users can just use this software to, you know, do everything under the Windows OS.